this is part nine of the Minish Cap, and here we are still on Mount Cornell. Yep. Oh, which will actually will be here to another one or two parts. Oh, two yeah. more parts. We got two more parts so we get to the uh, Cave Flames. I think it's what it's called. Yes. Yes. I'm glad I prepared so well today. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to actually uh, get a couple of items in this one that are not necessarily the most useful. Uh -huh. um, the grip ring is the first item we get, and it kind of helps us climb some yeah. of these walls, which is obviously necessary. But it's only uh, like it stinks because it's only like really a value in this area. So. I know. Yeah, we'll never use it again. Besides on this mountain. That's so. the first shadow weapon we're going to get. Yeah. Right? Or the <laughs> item, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, and we also will eventually be getting a, a bomb, bomb bag upgrade. Which yeah. is always awesome. That's tough to the upgrades are always good. <laughs> Especially, oh, this is what a fairy tries a tricky too, because yeah. I didn't get any upgrades in this game. Well, like the ones we had to ask a fairy because yeah. she's like, which bomb did you give me? I was like, oh, the go, the go bomb, the go bomb. Or whatever it is. You know, <laughs> I was lying my butt off. H Hick is a very honest man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I'm in real life a little bit, but like in video games, well, yeah, there's no there's no harm in life. Yeah, but these things are programmed to, you know, I guess take certain responses, so whatever. <laughs> now here's where we get the grip ring from one of these uh, Deku business scrubs, mm. I guess, depending on what you want to call them. And it's, a business, it's a business scrub. Yeah. Okay. And what's the charge? 40 rupees? 40, 40, 40 rupees, huh? And like I said, you need it, so... You need it in this area, and on, you should have the 40 rupees. That's not the And what are you going to do? He's got a monopoly. I mean, you don't see anybody else selling grip rings no, on Mount Cornell, <laughs> so I mean, what are you going to do? Like, try to bargain with them? I mean, again, I know Zelda logic's not always there, but come on. Well, how does wearing a ring help you climb? Yeah, it really does not... Okay, I I actually, I was thinking it was a bracelet. Oh, you're right, a grip ring. It makes sense, yeah. yeah I guess I'm always thinking of like the power bracelets. From other and, games. Yeah, yeah, the other Zelda games is kind of what I was thinking. Now, so. that's a really nice trick you pulled right It there. is. I don't understand how it works. Like, we're on, a, <laughs> we're on another level, so I don't know how using a gush jar swings that thing downward to you. I don't know. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, yeah I, well, I'm not either, man. Oh, I guess see. I am complaining. But <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't understand it, but yeah. I'd gladly take it, though. Otherwise, I'm not sure. You probably have to backtrack. I mean, not a ton, I don't think, but yeah. like, definitely a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, that's a trick. I actually had no clue you could do that the first time I played this game. Yeah. I didn't know that until I was making this walkthrough that you could actually do that. I was worried when I saw you fall down in there. I'm like, oh, no. He's going to have to... Oh, I would cut it. I would he's cut gonna, it if it would have been bad He's going to do now. a transition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, if I was going to transition, roll through the uh, image or screen or video, whatever you want to call it, yeah. stupid thing we're doing, you know something <laughs> bad happened in the background. <laughs> we tried to discuss it too much. So. <laughs> you never see it, though, so it really never happened in my opinion. Exactly, exactly. Now, I like how you capture a fairy in the bottle here. Early in the game, uh -huh. they're a little more useful because they show up, what, four or five yeah. hearts? I, I think it's four. I, oh. I think it's four. I think it's five in, like, maybe uh, A Link Between Worlds, but yeah. it's, I think it's four in this game. Man, later on in this game, I remember... Uh -huh. uh, and if you're good enough, you don't need them anyway. Yeah. And I remember getting to uh, the final boss fight and being like... These fairies are all oh, they're, they're like, I mean, it makes me so mad. Like you know, it does. I guess games like Ocarina. I think I think Ocarina may have been the only one. Maybe Majora's Mask. Like uh, fairies, like filled you all the way up. Yes. I don't know if I want that much. That's kind of too cheap. But at the same time, you should get more than four hearts. Maybe, maybe half. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah half would be good. Yeah, half would be good. Half. But just four hearts. I mean. And especially like you get like beeping hearts like at the end, like, yeah, like, three hearts. Oh, I mean, if you got one heart and you fill the fort, one more hit and you're beeping already. Again. It's so it's awful. annoying. It is. It is. Yeah, I definitely select a golden bomb if I <laughs> not like <playing> this. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it is kind of a trick question. Like, oh, it's definitely, it is. It is. Did you throw gold or silver? Like, no, it was blue. And actually, I think this is not the ne the only time. I think we we. Uh, run to her a couple times. We do. I think we get some upgrades. I think each time she might ask us questions. It's kind of like that one. Well, one of them she asks us an entire. Five. She does five. Yeah, she does questions. five questions. Uh huh. That's very late. That's like by the. Uh, that's that's just very late. Yeah, we want to talk about. That's very late again. I got to cheat on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I did too. But man, this 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 part right here now. This is a oh, long yeah. climb, but it is. I, I kind of like this because. I don't remember climbing in like Zelda games really. Not often. No, not often. Like we went up like steps like on, on Death Mountain. Or actually, ramps. Kind of yeah. topic. It's kind of weird. That this is actually called Mount Cornell and not Death Mountain. And like I, I don't know. know why, but like why is it not called Death Mountain? Because we're in Hyrule. That's. I mean, it's a great question because there's a Lake Hylia. Uh huh. There's there is Lake Hylia. Good point. I mean, I guess there's and you got like Hyrule Castle Town and all uh -huh. that stuff. But yeah, I don't know why they go with Cornell. Maybe they're just trying to mix well, it. Well, like, if you think bit. about it, okay, if it falls on the timeline after Skyward Sword, and Skyward Sword is called Elder Volcano. Yeah, so that's like, true. Now, now, how long it is behind Skyward Sword, you know, who knows? Who knows? But, yeah. like, you know, we had El Volcano, and then this is Mount Cornell. It really makes no sense to me. And then like, why this is called what it is. And then eventually they're like, just Death Mountain. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it should be El Volcano or Death Mountain, in my opinion. So, 
I just like to know where the origins of this name for this mountain came from. No idea. Well, think about there's some, of, and we're way off topic on this. Yeah. And we apologize, but oh, only the first time this walked through. No, but there's like a few areas. Yeah, I think uh, we're off topic. We're fusing kinstones. I know. We're attempting to fuse kinstones. <laughs> with, with, would you rather really talk about fusing kinstones? No. <laughs> it, that is the most random character. Well, okay, there's a lot of random characters. That guy, just That's, a random hermit living yeah, in the woods, uh-huh. and all he says is. Bombs! Bombs are the answer. <laughs> yeah, no, like he says, he he went there for like some peace and quiet or, yeah. or something like that. Like you're on a mountain, like where boulders are falling constantly. It's got to be a constant, like earthquake. Yeah, it's exactly. Little... There's no way it's peaceful. No, not at all. But you know what is peaceful? Look at this view. Look at oh. that view right there, man. That's amazing. It is, and we've always been a fan in any Zelda game when you get uh-huh. to the top of a mountain, something like that, yeah. and you can see down. It's yeah. like it's very like to pass like. I mean, like exactly. we got top of Death Mountain, you can see all the way down. I mean, that right there reminds me of. But then, like, just jump over oh. that whole ledge and just I don't know that whole part there. It was like a good two seconds, and it was awesome. It was like the the, the weather change, and then the theme changing oh, at the same yeah, time. Oh yeah, definitely. It, for one thing, it helps break up this mountain a little bit, which mm. which it kind of needed. It did, point. like it did, like yeah, that theme was kind of good to me. It's it's not like a really a long part, but it's a little bit longer. Yeah, but just getting something a little different up here, it feels so yeah. ominous when you're up here now with the storms raining. And the music changed to like. Like Link, to, I mean, this is a very common theme, I think. But yeah, like, it reminds me of like Link to the Past. Like it is when you first started the game, it was raining. Wasn't this the same it music is. that was playing? Okay, it, it, they they kind of mix that with a little bit of like the regular Mount Kuna music, uh-huh. and it ends up being a very awesome. Song. Yeah, I like it. I like it. What I don't like so much is rolling this daggone boulder no. all the way across the screen. I just want to know, like, I didn't see any storm clouds or anything like that whatsoever, and then like all of a sudden it was just pouring down up here. It just popped out of nowhere. It came, uh, yeah, right out to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> but uh, now that we're up here, this uh, wraps up part nine of Minish Cap.